Lesson 44, Swimming Pool. Swimming Pool, Noun, Swimming Pool. A big pit filled with water for swimming. The swimming pool is very dangerous. 560 swimmers died yesterday. An investigation is being started. The pool manager put up a sign to warn people. Investigation. Noun. Investigation. Finding facts or causes. The investigation into the pool deaths found one problem. Electricity runs through the water. Electricity and water are a bad combination. Electrocution. Noun. Electrocution. When an electric current goes through the body, the building's electricity runs through the pool, electrocuting swimmers. This is a problem. A student testing electrocution for the class. Solution. Noun. Solution. A way to solve a problem. The pool manager has a solution. Wrap every swimmer in rubber. The electricity won't go into them. Each swimmer will be coated in this rubber. Partial success. Partial success. Almost winning or almost working well. The swimmers stopped getting electrocuted. The rubber caused them to sink. 678 swimmers died that day. A funeral was held for them. Rethink. Verb. Rethink. To think again how to do something. The manager is rethinking his plan. He has a new idea. Add foam that floats to the swimmers. Each swimmer will be wrapped in packing foam. Good idea. Stupid idea. Stupid idea. A bad idea. The swimmers complained about being wrapped in rubber and packing foam. They left the pool. All swimmers are leaving. Solution. Solution. The way to solve a problem. One swimmer, Carl, comma, found the solution. Disconnect the power cables going into the pool. The Navy is cutting the cables to the pool. Yes, the pool is the size of the ocean. Hero. Hero. A person who saved other people. Carl was a hero. No other swimmers died. The dead swimmers were resurrected too. Carl is a hero. A celebration was held upon a mountain. Lesson 38. Robot. 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 A mechanical computerized machine that does work. Mr. Benson found robots living on the asteroid, so he introduced himself. The robots agreed to be friends. 
Mr. Benson and his robots. Lubricate. Lubricate. To put oil on a metal part. The robots asked Mr. Benson if he had oil. They needed to lubricate their joints. Mr. Benson has lots of oil. Mr. Benson's oil for lubricating the robots. Machine oil. Machine oil. A light, clear oil for machines. Mr. Benson carried 1,000 gallons of oil in his ship for emergencies. He lubricated the robots. He also has spray oil for more convenient application. Defragment. Verb. Defragment. To clean up a computer's hard drive. The robots have Windows 95. It is an unreliable program. Mr. Benson defragmented it. A recently defragmented robot computer. Automation. Automation. Using robots to make things quickly. Mr. Benson taught the robots about the benefits of automation. They started a company. The automation is now done by robots. Customer. Customer. A person or company that buys stuff from you. The new company had many customers. Aliens from different sectors want the new ships built by the robots. This customer is eating some free alien fruit. Payment. Payment. Money given in exchange for a product or service. The new company accepts three payments. They accept oil, metal, and hydrogen. Customers are very happy. The company prefers to accept aluminum. Refund Refund. Money given back to the customer. One customer complained and wanted a refund for returning the ship. Mr. Benson told him to go away. The customer is leaving. Success. Success. Having achieved your plan. Mr. Benson and his robots had great success. They became the number one ship company. They celebrated by oiling the robots. The factory now has a lot of aluminum. Lesson 24. Getting a job. Job. A way to make money where you do work and then get money. Mr. Benson decided to get a job. He applied at the gun store. The store owner remembered Mr. Benson. This is the bakery where Mrs. Benson had a job. Employment. Employment. The state of having a job or being employed. The gun store owner said no. Mr. Benson didn't find employment.
Mrs. Benson is seeking employment now. The gun store owner rebuilding his toy. Unemployment. Unemployment. The state of not having a job. Mrs. Benson's unemployment ended. She found a job building airplanes. She destroyed three airplanes for fun. Mr. Benson now trades old coins he collected for food. Fire. Fire. Now this is a verb. To tell a person that they cannot work anymore. So you say you're fired. Good. Good job. The manager fired Mrs. Benson for destroying the three airplanes. Mr. Benson got a job in a dynamite factory. So he can make dynamite. Mrs. Benson's new job? Oh, that's not right. It's Mr. Benson's new job. Sorry. Sorry. Explosion! Explosion! The act of something bursting into flames with a loud bang. Mr. Benson worked at the dynamite factory. He was smoking in the inventory room. A massive explosion destroyed everything. The dynamite factory exploding. Boom! Lawsuit. Lawsuit. The act of taking a person to court. The dynamite factory filed a lawsuit. Mr. Benson claimed he was insane. The judge agreed with Mr. Benson. Mr. Benson dressed up like crazy horse for the court. Good job, Mr. Benson. Insurance. Insurance. A contract to pay you money if something happens. The dynamite factory had insurance. It used the $10 million to buy an island. They built a new factory on the island. This is the new island. Hurricane. Hurricane. A large swirl of wind above the ocean. 100 kilometers per hour or more. A hurricane destroyed the new island. The factory had 100 million dollars of insurance. They bought a massive factory in Argentina. The new factory. <laughs> it's a church, but I said it's a factory. All right. Relocate. Relocate. To move to a different place for living. Mr. Benson relocated to Argentina. The factory had guards to protect the factory. You know, you just say it. Mr. Benson applied for a job at the factory. Mr. Benson in Argentina. Excellent. Pronunciation Lesson 27 of 50 At the Market The market has a wide variety of produce such as fruits and vegetables. The fruits shown in this market stall include pineapples, tomatoes, pears, and melons. I would buy a pineapple and some pears. What would you buy? 
this market seller is offering vegetables, including carrots, lettuce, and peppers. I like carrots, but I hate lettuce and peppers. I am not a cow, so I don't like to eat many green vegetables. This is a cow. Cows like to eat greens, such as grass, lettuce, alfalfa, lettuce, leaves, lettuce, and lettuce. Lettuce is good for cows, but not for people. It has very little nutrients, and most of it is grown in artificial hydroponics operations. This cow is pretty cool. Raspberries are awesome. If you're wasting your life eating lettuce and cucumbers, you're missing out. Fruit is where the action is. Raspberries are loaded with micronutrient antioxidants and flavor. If food has no flavor, it has no nutrients. Raspberries can win a fight against lettuce any day. Lesson 28. Safety. Helmet. Helmet. A hard hat to protect the head. Mindy Thompson bought a bike. She fell off and hit her head on a cactus. She bought a helmet. Mindy landed on this. Ouch! Safety vest. Safety vest. A bright colored jacket that is easy to see. Mindy got hit by a car on Saturday. She bought a safety vest on Monday. She punched the driver on Tuesday. This has nothing to do with this lesson. Glove A tough cover for the hand. Mindy got in a fight with the driver. Her hand hurt from punching him. Get him, Mindy, get him! She bought gloves to protect her hands. Mindy trying to find gloves. It seems she's found only bags so far. Mask. A cover for the face. Mindy decided to do a robbery. She bought a black mask. She robbed a store but got caught. The store owner. Karate. Karate. A Japanese fighting system. The store owner used karate on Mindy. Mindy used her karate on him. They both had a great battle. It was an excellent fight. Ice pack. Ice pack. A bag of ice used to remove pain from the body. Mindy and the store owner were very sore. Error. They put ice packs on their wounds. They watched kung fu movies together. A photo of the ice pack and a snowflake. Seat belt. Seat belt. A strap used to protect car passengers if a crash happens. Mindy and the karate man were driving to a new kung fu movie. 
Mindy crashed into a dinosaur. Their seat belts saved them. Dinosaurs are a big problem. Antacid. Antacid. A simple medicine used to stop stomach aches. The dinosaur ate Mindy and the karate man, but it gave the dinosaur a stomach ache. The dinosaur took some antacid. The dinosaur's stomach. Memory foam. Memory, you can say memory foam or memory foam. A special foam that cha slowly changes shape when pressed. The dinosaur has back pain. The doctor suggests a memory foam bed. The dinosaur now has no pain. The dinosaur's comfortable new bed. Lesson 51. Being broke. Broke. Adjective. Broke. Not having any money. Mr. Benson has a friend named Rudy. Rudy lost all of his money yesterday. He went gambling and now he's broke. Rudy's last chips. Gamble. Verb. Gamble. To play games and bet money on the outcome. Rudy likes to gamble at the casino. However, he has an addiction to gambling. His dog even ran away due to his gambling. Rudy's dog running away. Intervention. Noun. Intervention. Some people say intervention. I say intervention. A special meeting where a doctor or expert will help. Mr. Benson organized an intervention for his friend Rudy. Rudy will see a therapist to help him. The doctor's office. Quack. Noun. Quack. A person such as doctor, lawyer, etc., who is an idiot. Rudy went to the therapist three times. The therapist offered stupid advice to him. The therapist is a quack, said Rudy. Ducks make a quack sound, too. It's called a quack because they're an idiot who just talks like quack, 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 quack. Like, that's what they sound like. Center. Verb. Center. To make something exactly in between left and right. Rudy decided to center his life, so he joined three clubs. Buddhism, yoga, and kung fu. He fell asleep at the temple. He fell asleep in this temple. Ban. Verb. Ban. To not allow someone to go to a place. Rudy was banned from the temple. He didn't like the temple anyway. It was too boring sitting down all day. Rudy cannot visit the temple anymore. 
finding oneself. Verb. To find peace within yourself through relaxation and adventure. Rudy went on a worldwide travel adventure to find himself. He studied kung fu in China, karate in Japan, and vovinam in Vietnam. Rudy doing vovinam. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. To have a calm mind, relaxed without negative thoughts. After studying and traveling for many months, Rudy found peace of mind. He is now looking for his lost dog. Rudy traveled all around the world. Work, verb, work. To make effort. Working is usually paid. You get money. Rudy started working two jobs to make back his millions of dollars he lost. He saves most of his money now. And he quit gambling forever. Rudy working in a factory to make money. Vocabulary and pronunciation. Lesson ten: The Revenge of Mice. Vengeance, vengeance. Hurting a person who hurt you, vengeance is the process of getting revenge against someone who harmed you. Mice are tired of being targeted with mouse traps. They are seeking vengeance against all humans starting tomorrow, at five p.m. The mice have started building human traps, designed to catch humans and then use them as slaves. This is a common human-made mouse trap. Trickery, trickery, the process of making a person do something by accident. They don't want to do it, but you convince them it's a good idea. The mice have planned trickery against humans. They will open pizza restaurants that sell pizzas made from old pizza leftovers. <laughs> the humans ate the recycled pizzas, enjoyed them. And the mice had to use old spaghetti, fries, and donuts to make the pizzas because they ran out of old pizza to recycle. Humans will eat anything. Failure. Failure. When a plan or idea doesn't work as wanted. The mice's plan resulted in failure. The humans became regular customers and enjoyed every pizza. The mice expanded to six hundred seventy-five restaurants across America and used the profits to start a pizza foundation. Where humans give money to fund pizza research, humans gave millions of dollars. The mice were surprised. The pizza research facility, funded one hundred percent by human donations. <laughs> the 
fools. Mouse president. A country's leader, president, but instead of a human, it's a mouse. Usually, countries elect humans to be leader, but mice have been very politically successful. The mice raised so much money with the Pizza Research Foundation that they sponsored a political candidate. Their political candidate won the election and a mouse is now the president of the world. This is the world's new president on vacation. Total world dominance. The situation where the entire world is controlled by one person, party, or group. It is usually not wanted because it usually results in slavery and control. The mice had achieved total world dominance by becoming world leaders. Humans started becoming angry that only mice were in the government. Humans raised money to fund a new political candidate, a dog, to run against the mice in the next election. This is the human's 2012 candidate and poster. Make a sentence and pronunciation lesson two. So look at this picture and can you make a sentence? Let's start. First of all, what is this? This picture shows an old oy, western town. An old western town. Specifically, an old western American town. So, how many buildings are there? There are four buildings. Which one is the tallest? This one, this is shorter, shorter, and that's a little taller. This one is the tallest. So, the first building is the tallest. This is the first and tallest building. Now, what color is it? It is a yellow and purple. See, this says saloon. It is a saloon. It is a yellow and purple saloon. Let's go slowly for pronunciation. This picture shows an old Western American town. There are four buildings. The first building is the tallest. It is a yellow and purple saloon. Great. Next to it is a blue building. Next to the saloon is a blue building. And what is in front of the building? It looks like a wagon. There is a wagon in front of the blue building. Good. Now, let's do what is behind what is behind these buildings there are some trees behind look at that bad spelling 
behind the buildings. And these trees have many leaves. There are many green leaves, we'll say that. These trees have many green leaves. Now, how is the weather? The weather today is excellent. The sky is blue. This sky is blue, and there are a few white clouds. There are a few white clouds in the sky. Now, what else is on the ground? Looks like some hay. So we will say there is some hay on the ground. This hay might be used to feed animals such as cows or horses. So here we have some hay, here we have some chairs, and let's go through this section slowly. It is a yellow and purple saloon. Next to the saloon is a blue building. There is a wagon in front of the blue building. There are some trees behind the buildings. These trees have many green leaves. The weather today is excellent. The sky is blue. There are a few white clouds in the sky. There is some hay on the ground. This hay might be used to feed animals such as cows or horses. Lesson 15. Are volcanoes safe to enter? Volcano. Volcano. A vent in the Earth's crust that emits steam, lava, and sometimes erupts into a huge ash cloud and subsequently can spew out molten lava covering entire cities. The volcano erupted a huge cloud of ash over the city, and people were happy because work was cancelled. The volcano's ash caused cars to become covered with gray soot. People were unhappy because they had to clean their cars. This is an example of a volcanic eruption. Good idea. Good idea. Something that makes sense and has a high chance of a good outcome. Italicized. Good ideas usually solve a problem or create efficiency. The townspeople looked up at the spewing volcano and decided it was a good idea to go up to the top. All of the townspeople got together, then started hiking up to the top of the volcano to see what it looks like. However, there was too much ash in the air for the people to see clearly, so they went home. Volcano vents pose a good opportunity for photographs. Sacrifice Sacrifice The offering of an animal to the gods, 
Also, a sacrifice is something that is offered in exchange for something. The townspeople decided that it is a good idea to enter the volcano because there might be less ash inside the volcano. They sacrificed one person to try to enter the volcano. Henry McAllister volunteered to enter the volcano first. He was very excited about going inside the volcano. Henry was sacrificed to see if it's safe to enter the volcano. And yes, I am taking pictures of old paintings and saying it's real people. <laughs> That's good. Resurrection. Resurrection. The act of rising from the dead. Also, a resurrection can be returning something, such as restarting an old TV show or movie. Henry died during his adventure into the volcano, but he was resurrected to tell people about the dangers of entering the volcano. Janet McAllister decided that if her brother could enter the volcano, die, and then come back to life, she would like to experience a resurrection. She jumped into the volcano. Janet McAllister is local baker who makes the best bread in town. Sorry. Okay. Mass hysteria. Mass hysteria. The process where everyone starts to panic and freak out. Often, in African culture, witchcraft can cause mass hysteria. Mass hysteria is dangerous and can result in injury. Everyone in town started jumping into the volcano and mass hysteria <laughs> resulted. Everyone was resurrected due to the extreme fun offered by jumping into the volcano. Everyone quit their jobs to spend all day jumping into the volcano. Food shortages occurred because all farmers were jumping into the volcano. There were only a few vegetables left once the farmers started volcano jumping. Pronunciation Lesson 21 of 50 Healthy Living Healthy living starts with exercise. Warming up before exercising prevents injury as well. Mixing cardiovascular and weightlifting exercises helps keep muscles strong and toned. Drink plenty of water and remember to get plenty of rest. Eating fresh fruit helps power the muscles with sugar. The nutrients help rebuild muscle tissue and keep the skin strong. It is important to get a wide variety of fresh natural foods into the body to keep full nutrient levels. Watermelon is a nice, refreshing choice. Small springs, streams, or rivers supply the best drinking water. Just two liters of spring water per day gives you the full recommended mineral content. Because the minerals are dissolved in the water, it 
is much easier for the body to use them as compared to food or vitamin supplements. The body and brain need clean air to function properly. To get the most out of your exercises, take a walk or hike in the mountains. The cool, fresh air will help your body clean itself. The oxygen is excellent for the brain, eyes, skin, and organs. The sun exposure is also very beneficial to the body. Pronunciation Lesson 10 of 50 Babies Babies enjoy laughing because the only other option is to cry. Because crying is no good, they prefer to laugh. Sometimes parents act stupid to try to make the baby laugh, but babies prefer intelligent jokes from world-renowned comedians and not some idiot saying words that make no sense. All right. Choosing a mating partner is difficult for women because they often do so in greasy bars and end up meeting men who are trying to drink liquor and smoke a cigarette at the same time. These women enjoy complaining about how there are no good men in the world and purposely seek losers so they can complain. Babies and young children like to act cute. Parents also enjoy the cuteness of young children. This young girl is cute and she is enjoying her time at the beach. Women begin to harvest men's resources at a young age. This young girl is only five and she is already choking a young boy to steal his toy monkey. When she gets older, she will take her husband's car, house, and business in a divorce. Smart men do not marry. Lesson 56. Evade. Evade. Verb. It's evade or evade. Here it says evade. To run away, hide, and not be caught. Mr. Benson and Rudy evaded the pandas by dressing up in panda costumes. However, the heat was getting too bad. Mr. Benson in a panda costume hiding in bamboo. It's a very good costume. Muggy. Adjective. Muggy. Hot and humid. Examples. Jungle. Rainforest. The costumes felt too muggy, so Rudy removed his costume for a minute. One panda saw him and ran towards him. Rudy removed his costume. Climb. Noun. No, not noun. 
My template has noun for every one. I have to change it. Sometimes I forget. Climb. Verb. Climb. To go up an object so your feet aren't touching the ground. Rudy climbed a tree to evade the pandas. Mr. Benson kept his costume on for safety. All pandas went after Rudy in the tree. A panda climbing the tree. Mistake. Noun. Mistake. To do something wrong. Rudy knows his mistake. Pandas climb trees. Fifty pandas climbed up the tree to Rudy. Rudy jumped out of the tree to escape. Rudy in the tree. Hi, Rudy. Poor judgment. Poor judgment. It's more of like an expression than a noun, but whatever. To not see something right and make a bad decision. Rudy fell 67 feet and landed on the pandas. The pandas used his poor judgment. They took him back to their meeting place. Very sneaky. The panda meeting. Very in important and formal. Good meeting. Next slide. Separate. Verb. Separate. To move two things apart that were together before. Mr. Benson watched the pandas separate Rudy from him. He went back to his house to plan a rescue. Good idea. Mr. Benson planning a rescue of Rudy. This is actually a picture of formulating the Declaration of Independence or something. On Wikipedia, they got all this crazy stuff. Craft. Verb. Craft. As in a plan, to craft a plan is to formulate or make a plan. Mr. Benson called all of the robots from the Red Planet to help craft a rescue plan. The robots crafted an excellent plan. Mr. Benson telling the robot he wants a rescue attempt. Interesting. Trick. Verb. Trick. To make someone think one thing, but you do another thing. The robots plan to trick the pandas into running away from the ranch. Their plan is secret and nobody knows it. This is a tricky panda. You never know what he's going to do. Put into action. Put into action. Put into action. Put into action is an expression that means to start or initiate. I think it's nice if this is italicized like that. Isn't that nice? The robots will put their plan into action tomorrow when the pandas are sleeping. Always attack while they're sleeping. Mr. Benson can't wait. He's excited. Mr. Benson is excited about the new robot plan. Pronunciation Lesson 13 of 50 Science A microscope is used by scientists to look at very small particles. 
microscopes have increased in power over the years, enabling scientists and lab technicians to see greater detail in the materials they are studying. Such developments are useful in studying biology and chemistry. Test tubes are used to mix and store test materials. Chemicals or other fluids are kept in test tubes to ensure they do not get contaminated from the outside air. These test tubes are sitting in a blue plastic test tube holder. The holder keeps the tubes organized. See, test tube, sh sh sorry, slow, test tube. Fast, test tube, test tube, like one T. All right. Atoms and molecules can be demonstrated using 3D models. These models show each bond between atoms and also the shape of the molecule. Molecules are made up of many atoms. The straight connections between atoms are called bonds. Flasks, beakers, and graduated cylinders are all glass containers for mixing chemicals. Chemical reactions can be within these containers. Glass is chemical resistant and easy to clean. It doesn't melt in contact with chemicals and it is very easy to see the reactions taking place inside of the containers. Lesson 55 Infestation Panda, noun, panda, a lazy, cute, black and white bear from China. The pandas started coming to the llama ranch by the thousands. The llamas became friends with them. Many pandas are friends with llamas. How wonderful! Infestation. Noun. Infestation. When there are too many of one animal or insect in one place. The llama ranch has 10,000 llamas but now has 45 million pandas. The panda infestation is now a problem. There are pandas everywhere. <laughs> deceive. Verb. Deceive. To lie or trick someone. To make a false statement. Mr. Benson put up signs saying there is another, better ranch 10,000 kilometers away. The pandas all left that day. Good job, Mr. Benson. There are no more pandas, only bamboo. Anger. Verb. Now there is anger like um like adjective or whatever but this is or noun this is a verb this is the verb version all right anger to cause someone or something to become angry the pandas went all around the world but found no better ranch this 
angered the pandas, so they returned. So it made the pandas angry. Angered the pandas. The pandas all returned. Isn't that a crazy picture? Conspiracy. Noun. Conspiracy. A plot to do harm to another person or to trick them. The pandas held a meeting to plot a conspiracy against Mr. Benson. The pandas were all silent the next day. This panda is silent not to let anyone know of its plan. Suspicion. Noun. Suspicion. To think something might happen or to feel something might be. Mr. Benson had a suspicion. The pandas are up to something. He hired three pandas to be spies. The panda spies in a tree. Interesting. Infiltrate. Verb. Infiltrate. To go inside the enemy's place without them knowing. The spies infiltrated the head panda meeting. They learned of a secret plan to take over the ranch for pandas only. One spy, right, listening in on the meeting. Good idea. Play dumb, verb, play dumb. To pretend to be stupid or to not know what's happening. A little trick. Rudy and Mr. Benson played dumb all day. Then at 2 a.m. they invaded the pandas. They tied all pandas together with rope. Mr. Benson is playing dumb. Poor quality. Adjective. Poor quality. To be not made well breaks easily or not a good product. The rope holding the pandas was poor quality rope and they escaped. Mr. Benson and Rudy ran away quickly. The rope broke, so the pandas escaped. Oh, those tricky pandas. What will they do next? Lesson 45. Champion. Competition. Competition. An event where two or more people try to win. Mindy joined a singing competition. She can't sing. She lost. Mindy is singing. Winner. Winner. The person who wins the event. Mindy saw the winner of the competition. The winner was a horse. She is angry that a horse won. This horse sings better than Mindy. Revenge. Revenge. To hurt someone who hurt you. Mindy wanted revenge. She took singing classes. Now she can sing. Mindy's singing class. Victory. Victory. The final result. Winning. Mindy entered another competition. She won against the horse. This is Mindy's first victory. 
Mindy and her friend are celebrating her victory. Winning streak. Streak. A large number of wins in a row. Mindy won seven competitions in a row. She's on a winning streak. The horse is angry now. This horse is angry. Overthrow. Overthrow. To win against the current champion. The horse finally overthrew Mindy. Mindy ran away to avoid photographs. She hid in her house for a week. The champion horse overthrew Mindy as winner. Poor Mindy. Sore loser. Sore loser. A person who complains if they lose. Mindy complained to the judges. She said the horse is cheating. The judges denied her complaint. The judge denied Mindy. Train. Train. To practice a lot. Mindy trained her voice to work better. She became twice as good at singing. She won 76 competitions in a row. Mindy also trains as a hazardous materials person. World record. World record. The number one best in the world. Mindy won a total of 180 competitions. She holds the world record. She is the world champion. Mindy won this trophy. Lesson 49. Body. Body. Noun. Body. The entire physical person. Alfred noticed his body is turning orange. The doctor said he should stop eating 10 kilograms of carrots every day. Oh, Alfred, too many carrots will make you orange. Limb. Noun. Limb. Arms and legs. Alfred started lifting weights to make his limbs stronger. His arms and legs got bigger. What is this? Well, it's two, two arms, two limbs, that's for sure. Torso. Torso. The big part of the body. Not arms, legs, or head. Not these things. This part here is a torso. Alfred noticed his torso is weak. He did more exercises. His torso became bigger and stronger, making the torso strong to get six-pack abs. Upper. Upper. Higher is the same thing as upper. Alfred's upper body was hurting, so he put ice on it. His neck feels much better now. Thankfully, we have ice packs to relieve pain. Lower. Lower. Lower is down more. Alfred rode his bike a hundred kilometers in one day. His lower body, legs, hurt a lot. He iced his legs to remove the pain. He likes biking. Sprain. Noun. Sprain. 
a small tear in the muscle that hurts, swells, but will heal. Alfred sprained his arm lifting weights. He iced it and rested for a week. His arm is all better now. The arm muscles. Dislocation. Noun. Dislocation. A joint, such as shoulder, that goes out of place. Alfred was hiking on a mountain. He fell and dislocated, that's the verb, his shoulder. He put it back in place. Here is a separated shoulder. Separated and dislocated is the same thing. Inflammation. Inflammation. Swelling and redness to heal injury. The inflammation that followed the shoulder dislocation hurt a lot. Alfred put a lot of ice on his shoulder. Painful shoulder. Recover. Verb. Recover. Or some say recover. To get better. Alfred's injuries healed. He recovered totally in one week. He is happy and healthy now. Back in the gym.